Hey all, it's Maddie with MeFishies.com and it is day seven. These angel fish wigglers have been from a spawning cone from their mommy and daddy. Oh, where are you two? Oh, there you are. So it's day seven. These this these breeding pair like to hatch eggs approximately every ten days. So the process is kind of interesting because. It takes about 10 days. Oh, see how they're starting to clean the surface again? When they start cleaning the surface of the spawning cone, it means that they are starting to prepare to have the female, that white koi, uh, lay eggs, followed by the male, uh, which is right there. And he will follow the egg line to fertilize the eggs. So seven days ago, we took that cone out. We put it in a separate container within this container so that all water temperature was the same and we made sure to add methylene blue and air stones to the internal tank and we did that before we took that cone and put it upside down into the interior tank after several days i did it three times this time uh, we removed the eggs uh slash wigglers and we put them in a smaller cup of the same water temperature actually the same water that i took care of that was clean and what you do on that process is you want to make sure to uh try to get rid of as many of the white eggs as possible and you're also kind of cleaning the wigglers and and eggs and whatnot from the methylene blue before you then use my favorite turkey baser and very gently suck them out of the cup and then you place them into same water temperature container here and then you go through the process of removing any dead eggs over a period of time but we are getting close now to where these uh, little angel wigglers are getting ready to make the swim as you can see they're they're wiggling, but some of them are starting to swim just a little bit. But next process now for them in the next several days is they got to get up to that water line to gulp some air. And that will make them buoyant. And then a day or so after that, you start feeding them brine shrimp. Uh, they have sacks on them that you can see. So they are already being fed by those sacks. And once they're swimming and they go get that air boom they go up take a gulp all of a sudden they're big swimmers and then we had some brine shrimp and it gets a little easier this these 10 days are are a real test see how they're starting to swim around now they're they're, they're thinking about it they're thinking hey do i want to go up and get that gulp of air if they're not getting the gulp of air you've got something going on at some point. So it's a little early now, but as you get closer to the 10 day period, if they aren't going up and making it, maybe you've got too much water in there. Maybe you don't have general conditions correct. You gotta make sure that the angels can make the jump so that they can get that air gulp. So sometimes it's that you've got too much pressure of air going through uh, your sponge filter there could be multiple reasons for it so if if something seems wrong i suggest checking online uh, there's plenty of videos out there and make sure that you save as many angels as you can this is maddie of mefishies.com we'll check back again tomorrow and see how these little angels are doing